Did you know that over 80% of home buyers forget their agent's name within six months? Well, unless you want to log on to Facebook and see a past client that just closed on a new house with another agent, you had better stay in touch with them. But the question is, how do you do it without always selling real estate or boring them with turn back the clock emails or market reports? My name is Sunit Agrawal, and on today's episode of The Hustling Agent, I'm going to show you the three ways you must communicate with your client after the transaction closes. This will help you nurture the relationship, generate more referrals, and retain the future business. The first thing I recommend you do is set up what we call the three channel. The three channels will be used to stay in touch with your past clients and entire SOI. The first channel is direct mail. Yes, I said direct mail, and no, it's not dead. Lots of agents farm neighborhoods. We farm relationships. Sending them one postcard a month keeps you very consistent and keeps you top of mind. Channel number two to consistently communicate with your SOI and past clients is email. We're not talking about those market reports or turn back the clock, and if you're doing it, stop right now. Those are more likely to turn off your clients rather than generate any referrals. Using our email programs consistently has helped us get open rates of 40%, which is over four times the national average. Now, our trick to sending email is using video email. Sending business interviews, community events, and holiday greetings are relevant and something they may enjoy to actually watch. And obviously, the third channel is, you guessed it, social media. Did you know that you can upload all your past clients and friends' emails and phone numbers into Facebook so you can easily stay in front of them? Now, if you can combine direct mail, social media, and video emails, your brand will be everywhere and you'll be unforgettable. And my last tip to strategically stay in front of your clients, pick up the phone and make one or two calls a year. The most important one is their home purchase anniversary. Why not reach out on that day? It's a great reason to reconnect. Not communicating with your past clients after a transaction is one of the worst things you can do in your business. Don't forget, we work in a primarily referral-driven business. And you don't get referrals from strangers, you get them from people that you know. But that's only when you stay top of mind. If you like the tips on this video, I wrote a whole blog about it. You can check it out, plus more additional tips, right at the link below. I really hope that you got some value out of this video. My name is Sunit Agarwal. I'm the Hustling Agent. Please share this with a friend. Like us on Facebook. Like us on Instagram. Subscribe on YouTube. And check out the link for even more tips right now.